Hi everyone, Chris Clayton here with The Pool Guide. Today I wanted to say Happy Labor Day to you guys. Hope you all are having a great and safe weekend. And we're going to be going over variable speed pumps versus single speed pumps today. If you like learning about products available to you for your swimming pool and how they can help you enjoy your outdoor living space more, then subscribe below. I will be sharing all kinds of information on pool and spa related products. So this week we're talking about variable speed versus single speed. And we're going to cover three different topics. First, we're going to talk about product durability. Second, we're going to talk about product functionality. And third, we're going to talk about energy savings. Today, we're going to start talking about product durability. So first, we're talking about product durability. So I'm going to start by showing you guys a couple single speed motors, okay? I have a C-face motor here and a square face motor here. So this is a C-face motor for a pool pump, okay? You see these vents here on the front, vents here on the back. These vents are designed so that the motor can pull air in. There's a fan in the front here, and the air then gets moved along the inner chamber of the motor and then out so that it can cool the motor down, okay? So this is a C-face or a round face motor, okay? This motor is a square flange. You can see the vents are on the bottom. This is what the back looks like. So these, again, are made to help cool the motor. That is their purpose. There's a fan, I'm not sure if you can see it inside there. That white piece is a fan. And then in the back here, you can see that's pretty much open. There are windings in there, but the fan pulls the air in, blows it through the case, and then it comes back out. Now, the issue that you run into sometimes with those vents is that it allows for insects, small animals to get into the motor, which can cause damage to the wiring. It can also, if it's a small mouse or something like that, can get stuck in there, cause damage to the fan and shorten the life of the motor, okay? The other issue you run into, I live in Florida, and unfortunately, a lot of times the placement of these pool pumps are right underneath the eave of the house. So we will get a heavy rain. And if the motor is running during that heavy rain, as the raindrops run down the sides of the motor, sometimes if the motor is running, depending on the amount of water, it will get pulled in to the inside chamber of the motor and will be moving around. It can cause damage to the bearings on the inside internally, and it can also shorten the life if it comes in contact with anything electrical, it can shorten the life of the pool motor. So realistically, if you have a single speed motor, you should have a cover over it. There are covers that are sold for them. I've seen people do things like put five gallon buckets over them and things like that. Don't do that. These do require airflow. They will overheat and shut off. They do have a thermal sensor in there that will help protect them. It will shut the motor on and off depending on how hot it gets, but it needs airflow. So there are covers designed to go on motors that are open on the front and back. So it prevents the water from falling right on it, but still allows airflow through the chamber, okay? So if you have a single speed, check out getting a cover for it. Now, if you're looking to change your motor, maybe your motor's already failed, it's time for an upgrade, check out a variable speed pump because the beauty of a variable speed pump is they do not have the vents, okay? That's, that's one of the durability features. So they don't have the vents, so it protects them from insects and small animals and rainwater getting in. Instead, on the back side, and I'll show you some pictures of variable speeds. I don't have one here with me. But on the back side of a variable speed pump, there'll be a fan externally mounted, okay? And what happens is, is when that pump turns on, that fan kicks on and there's no vents on the outside, but it blows cool air over the outer shell of the motor. And that is how the motor is cooled. That, that technology is called totally enclosed fan cool. So that is one of the benefits of having a variable speed and how another way it can help save you money. 
okay? Because if you're having a lot of issues with damage to motors, either from insects, small animals, or rainwater getting in there, you're having a noisy motor, this will help extend the life of your motor because it's already protected from those intrusions, okay? If you're finding this information helpful, please hit the like button below. That way I know what you guys find helpful and what you don't, and I'll make sure to share as much information as I can with you to help you find more joy in your outdoor living area and swimming pool and spa. All right, guys, thank you very much. I hope this information was helpful for you. I will be sharing more information on other products that are pool and spa related. Later this week, I'll be adding two more videos. The next one will be going over step two, which is product functionality for this video. And then on Friday, I'll be putting up step three, which is energy savings for this uh, segment. So if you have any questions, please comment down below. I'll be more than happy to get back to you guys. If you have questions on products that you'd like to learn more about or problems with your pool that you want to know if there's products available for them, please ask me. I'll be more than happy to get you any information that I can and help you uh, have a more enjoyable outdoor living area. All right. Thank you guys and have a great rest of your weekend.